Hello and welcome to another video by Geek Together. Today I will be showing you guys how to install Nextcloud using an installation script that will install Nextcloud for you and also fix all the errors that most of you face and you've been reaching out to me about these errors in order to help you fix them so you can get started with your Nextcloud. The script I have here that was written by myself will enable you to install Nextcloud with little or no worry. So I'm just going to go straight into the video and show you how you can use this script to install Nextcloud for those of you who have been facing issues installing Nextcloud. So in order for us to proceed, you're going to need a fresh install of Ubuntu or Debian either on a virtual machine or on a physical machine. So once that's done, you want to log into that Linux machine using SSH. And once you've SSH into that server, we're going to start by running the wget command, which is going to download our Nextcloud installation script. So wget followed by the link I have pasted in the description section below. So once you run that, you can see that the command went ahead and downloaded the Nextcloud-install script. So now we're going to use sudo ch mode to make the script executable so once we run that command now we are ready to run our next cloud installation script so you're going to start up the installation script by using the command i have pasted on the screen obviously you want to run this command as sudo and now that we have that running you can see that the script explains to us what it does so this script is going to go ahead and install Nextcloud for you. It is going to enable SSL with its self-signed certificate that is already available on your Ubuntu system. I highly recommend if you plan on using this externally, you should create a valid certificate after the install using something like Let's Encrypt. Or if you have another valid certificate that you use in your environment, you can simply change that by going to the Apache 2 configuration settings and changing the self-signed certificate but if you're using this in your internal network or your home the self-signed certificate should be fine for you the script is also going to enable mem caching using the apcu local caching it is going to enable redis for database transactional locking it is going to set up nextcloud's php recommendations it also going to enable pretty urls which is removing the index.php on your next cloud graphical user interface or web page it is going to set up background task using cron instead of ajax and it is going to enable brute force protection for your next cloud instance so now that we have that out of the way the first thing we're going to want to do is give our next cloud server a host name so in this case we're going to call it cloud.geektogether.com you can give it any host name you like Another very important option we need to do here is specify the IP address of our virtual machine or physical machine that we are currently using to install Nextcloud. So in my case, the IP address is 172.16.25.169. So once you do that, the Nextcloud installation script is going to go ahead and install Nextcloud. So you're just going to sit back and relax. The installation may take some time. But once the installation is complete, it is going to present you with the credentials that you need to proceed and log into your Nextcloud user web interface. So I'm going to pause the video here and I will come back once the installation is complete. So now that our installation is complete, you can see that we are presented with our Nextcloud credentials. It is very important that you save this credential somewhere because once we exit the command line, we can't get these credentials anymore. So some of the credentials include the database root user password. You can copy that and save that somewhere really safe. The same for the database user and the password. As for the admin username and password, you can change this once you first log into the Nextcloud web user interface. So we're just going to go ahead and copy the admin password and we're going to log in for the first time. So I'm going to type in the IP address. As you can see, we are redirected to HTTPS, which is good. And then we have our next cloud installation complete and we need to enter our username and password. 
So I'm going to type in the NC admin and I'll put in the password that I copied from the command line and I'll log in. And now you can see the installation was successfully completed. We have our next cloud instance. If we head into the overview where we normally get the security and setup warnings, you can see all the warnings were automatically fixed or corrected by our next cloud installation script. The only other warnings we have here are warnings that you really don't need to fix if you didn't want to but it is advisable that you set up an email server for notifications so nextcloud can notify you for different things within your nextcloud server and also for you to set up your default phone region so those are pretty easy to set up so thank you for watching if you like the video please hit the like button and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel